Hi everybody, it's Stephanie Montero again with an Artifact Spotlight here at the Leyland Museum. Today we're going to talk about some teapots from the Hall China Company. This one over here is the simplest that I have out today. It's called a Boston style. You see it's a very small or very rounded shape, except for it has a straight line here on the top of the handle. This one is a two cup teapot really quite small. Then over here is another rather traditional one, very pretty. It's the Philadelphia style. This one's from the 1950s and it's from the gold label series. You see it's got a gold basket weave pattern and then gold daisies around the bottom and lots of other gold detailing. So it's a very, another one that you see a lot is the Philadelphia style. Um, the Robert Taggart Hall founded the Hall uh, China Company in 1903 in East Liverpool, Ohio. He spent the years from 1903 to 1911 working on a single fire process, which was um, very new. Everybody else had always had to have a double fire process. By 1911, he did manage to, um, to get that single fire process going, and what that gave him was very durable and non-porous pieces, and they did not craze. Crazing is when you see a piece of china and it has a pattern of tiny little cracks in the, in the glaze, that happens because the china itself and the glaze um, expand and contract at different levels. So um, th none of these will have that going on. They did, um, the Hall China Company was incredibly popular for many years. And in addition to these really traditional ones, they did car teapots, football teapots, donuts, Nautilus shells. And one of the most popular and most sought after ones is the Aladdin teapot, like you see right here. You can see from the shape of it, it does look a little bit like Aladdin's oil lamp. Um, it has this very cool kind of spiral handle. And then the finial here at the, um, on the lid twists and has an interesting pattern that makes you think of something exotic like um, the Aladdin story. Um, very hard to find. This is from 1939. Um, the if you are interested in collecting Hall China, there is a lot of it around because it is so durable and it is a very popular collectible. One of the things that I did notice is that um, they did different hallmarks over the years. So if you find one that has a hallmark that looks like this, almost a rectangular shape, that was made after 1969. So it's still legitimately Hall China, but it's not one of the oldest original pieces, which does affect the value a little bit. So I thought that was kind of interesting. Anyway, that is um, my artifact spotlight of the day. Hope you'll join us tomorrow on the Cleburne Railroad Museum Facebook page for another artifact spotlight. Have a great afternoon.